welcome to my new podcast. <laughs> Very special guest today, Snow Bunny. <laughs> this is my little Snow Bunny, my little Snuggle Muffin, my little Snuggle Mama. I'm Paige Chappelle, and I'm Raf's first guest on his very first podcast. So I'm Welcome happy to all. Be, thank you. Happy to be here. This is the pilot. Baby pilot. We uh, we have we have so many things that we can talk about, and that's the fun part of the podcast. It, what we're really going to do is we're going to have multiple guests from different backgrounds. We're going to talk to them about their their story. Their, everything that they've learned through the years, all the experiences and whatnot, it's going to be from different um, uh, work lives as well. You know, I'm, I'm a musician myself, so obviously we're going to have a lot of singers, songwriters, artists, but we're also going to have influencers. We're also going to have uh, athletes, I'm expecting, uh, and uh, all other types of people like that that I am interested in and I, that I'd like to discuss with for you guys to see. And um, we're going to talk about anything life, really, so... This is going to be fun. Yeah. So first things first, um, not everybody knows uh, what you do. So you can go <laughs> ahead and give them a little idea of what you do. What do I do? Okay. I feel like what don't I do? I have <laughs> so many talents. So, so many talents. Well, first of all, the reason why Raph and I even connected in the first place is because... Oh, you want to start straight up there? Yeah. Okay. Well, no. Okay. Let, let's start with the how we got together then. Not the how. Okay, <laughs> fine. I was like, not how we got go together. Go for it. Oh my gosh. Okay. So no, 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 no. Let me go back to what I do and then we'll move to that. Okay. All right. So the reason why Raph and I connected in the first place is because Raph is an artist, an instrumentalist, vocalist, singer, songwriter, all of that. And I'm a singer as well. I do some writing. I don't play very many instruments, but I'm a vocalist. Also, what I do is I'm a content creator and I specialize in social media. When we first met, I was actually working for a fashion brand, really popular one. And then from there, I just started growing my own platforms and getting into different, you know, social channels like TikTok. And from that, I was just able to really get a lot of brand deals. And now I'm an influencer and it's really cool. So yeah, that's how Raph and I actually met. We connected from the music part, but we, he found me on TikTok. Right. So that's my part. <laughs> so I'm explaining it properly no because we have very different stories there's on this no one. difference so, so here's the thing right uh in during the pandemic everybody <laughs> hopped on tiktok and and i wasn't no exception i got into to to tiktok a little i guess on the later part of it like april or something last year and Paige was already doing her thing and she mm -hmm. had followers and a bunch of tiktoks that worked really mm -hmm. well by that point yeah. and um i just ended up seeing one of her tiktoks in my for you page and um i how i ended up on the canadian for you page i don't know but that's well, really funny the video was working so it just got expanded out where i know I guess, that's just know? so funny to me when that happens i'm like why am yeah. i in, why am i trending in canada well you, you know, know it, the, the thing is it happened and yeah. it popped onto my for you page which is another crazy Ooh, thing i'm like why thing? did my video pop onto your for you page yeah but you know all in all what was cool about it is yeah. I don't really go in and try to look into um, people I don't know on social media really normally. But for some reason, that video caught my attention. And I was like, oh, who is this? And then I went to look. But at that point, I really wasn't very um, at ease with TikTok or anything. So mm -hmm. what I actually ended up doing is I went straight to Instagram. And going to Instagram, I just scrolled a couple photos at first and the two first things i saw was one video of you singing mm -hmm. which was like oh cool she's in music too and i saw that photo from egypt yeah that you had posted from your trip that you had just made what, what was it a year ago um, a year, well not a year was, ago a year before it was that the year time. before right yeah. so 2018 it was, i think you know it was 2019 april 2019 it was literally the year before covid right exactly april, yeah so i saw that mm -hmm. and then i went oh wow that's interesting because i love traveling mm -hmm. as some of you listeners probably know from all the crazy stuff I'm doing back and forth. And, um, oh, the other thing is, what? well, my mom absolutely loves Egypt and yeah. that's her dream trip. So for yeah. me, it was like, oh, well, I, I, I need to talk to this girl. And yeah. so th I, I ended up DMing you about yeah. Egypt and all that. And then we started talking and here we are. Yeah, One he asked after. me something about Egypt. So like when I get a request in my DM, since it wasn't anything with him trying to like talk to me talk to me i was just like okay i'll i'll accept his dm okay and I'll okay talk. you know what let's get into that like how by by <laughs> that point how many 
random, weird, shady DMs are you getting like a day or a week or like how how does that work? Like Yeah, I mean, you know, they come in. It goes down in the DMs. Do they still come in now? Yeah, now you that know. you see me in TikToks and they're like, who is this dude? <laughs> yeah, I mean, of course. Like, they're still coming in. Like, you know, people yeah. don't care. And honestly, like, I think people just like to, like, they have, like, internet courage, right? So they mm. just like to say anything because they know they can hide behind their phone. Like, it's, you know, they don't well, care. Well, they know nobody's going to go and get them. Yeah. You know, people just say anything over the internet. And, but honestly, I think some people genuinely don't know, which is, you know, which is okay. It's no big deal, but. They don't know, you know, like, I exist type thing. <laughs> or, like, you know, they're not, like, understanding that, like, we're in, like, a relationship. You know, like, people, mm. you know, sometimes, like, it could be, like, you know, 15-year-old boys. Like, you know, like, people don't know. 15-year-old boys? Not like that, but I'm just saying, you know, like, kids. <laughs> like, sometimes kids will just say, like, weird, like, you know, dumb things in your dance. And, like, you know, they don't know. Yeah. So, it's just, like, you just ignore them. And, you know, like my mom says, charge it to their head, not their heart. Whatever. Yeah, so. Yeah. I'm not sure what that means, but I guess not to like not give people the benefit of the doubt, but just like don't like, oh, char- don't, like don't, charge it to their don't head. blame like, it to like don't blame it on their like. Oh, it doesn't mean they're bad people. Yes, yeah, so it doesn't you know, mean they're a bad person. Yeah, you yeah, know, they're, they're just trying something or saying something because they're they're online and they don't see the harm in it. Yeah, whether because it's, whether there is harm or not. Yeah, because I think for a lot of people, especially like nowadays, like online is just like a virtual it's crazy. reality. It's, it's so crazy. So people don't realize that that's like an actual real person on the other end that's living an actual real life. Like for yeah. me, like I'm a I'm an actual human. I'm a human being. I'm a human being. <laughs> I'm a human. You're a human being. <laughs> a human being. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm okay. I'm a human being. You know. So I think like some people, especially with like celebrities and influencers, and now the influencers are held to the same standard or similar standards as celebrities. Yeah. Those things can be like confusing for people so they don't realize that you're actually well, I mean, a human you know, on the other end i think they think you're a like either think you're a robot or they just think that you'll never see what they're saying mm. and that's the biggest thing like they think you'll never see it Which but sometimes most, we do see it yeah i mean to most it probably it probably does happen that they don't see it but then other people do check their comments every now and then and mm. or or it just you know, or it just pops randomly as, pops up, yeah. you know, and you just see it like randomly, like one day it'll be just be like the one thing that you see. Right. You're just like, wow, that's crazy. Whether it be good or bad, you know, that's just the one thing that you see. Yeah. So how do how do you experience it? Do you do you check them like regularly or do you just avoid the comments? When you... The the DMs, no comments. It uh... it happens. Yeah, you know, sometimes I'll like look through comments, not like necessarily every single one, but I'll look Wait, that's just to curious. see so you how check they're the... going. So you check the comments on a post but to not see how the it's... dms no well i'm like the opposite no like i'll check my dms of people who write to me in private because there's something probably that they want to yeah. tell me well if it's my like, if it's my best friend right like my sister yeah i'm always checking those we're always talking but my like dm requests no oh yeah right yeah well that's yeah that's the thing like that that is delegated in my case i'm like yeah, yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna either read them myself later or i'm gonna flip them over to my social media yeah. uh, you know aid mm-hmm. and be like can you just run through that and send me whichever actually makes sense for me yeah because i'm like you know I, I have other things to do including writing songs and you know all types of stuff and the same for you you got like content to make so yeah. it's not like you're not going to be all over your requests just looking at 100 messages like although sometimes it is kind of like a joke like i'll send <laughs> funny ones to my best friend and we'll just like laugh about it. Like some people say really yeah. funny things and we'll just go through it and laugh and laugh and laugh. Yeah. So, you know, in those cases I, I will, but most times like, no, I see some people sometimes they're like, um, you know, screenshotting their DMS mm-hmm. and then, and then posting them and stuff. Mm-hmm. And like, I, I, I just want to know what you think about that because like, it, isn't that some sort of like invasion of privacy, if you will? It's all right, we got a new guest, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Ivan. Yes. Hi. You want to say hi? You want to say hi to people on camera? Yeah. Okay, come right there. Come here. I got. I, I literally have a whole new family right now. <laughs> this hi. is my nephew, Ivan. What's your name, little buddy? Say bing bong. <laughs> bing dong. <laughs> all right, so what's your favorite character right now? Sonic. 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 He, he knows. He's got, like, refined video game character knowledge right now he's only five 
He just, just turned five yesterday. Yeah, hey, you just turned five. Happy yeah, birthday! Happy birthday! Ouch! 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 My bad. I like tails too. You like tails too? Oh yeah, mm-hmm. of course. Who else? I like the Christmas tree that is a snowman. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That's so awesome. we have a Christmas tree, and on the top of the tree, our tree topper is a little snowman, and it's really really cute. Yeah, I, I took I took some I took some video. We're gonna pop it right here. Yeah. So you can see it. It's pretty cool out here. Like their their setup is. I took some amazing. pictures too, guys. Yeah. No. <laughs> He did. Yeah, he did. <laughs> yeah, Ivan likes to take pictures. He takes them with his iPad all the time. So he's really interested in cameras and filming too. And he's he literally just turned five, but he's so interested in stuff like that. You guys, I did not expect this pilot to end up being like a Christmas party <laughs> podcast, but it, it I, I'm all for it. Oh my god, this is literally you that. You guys, should I get talk to them too? Okay, talk okay, to them. Okay, what do you want to so, say? So I have a new bike yeah. that's super oh. big, and. I'm five, and I just got it on my birthday, and I got, like, some new stuff that, unless I can't open those presents right there under the tree. Those are for Christmas. <gasps> those are not for your birthday. They're for Christmas. Well, I really want to open all of them. You yeah, will you open them in a couple them. days, remember? Because you had a birthday. Okay, Ivan, his birthday is in December, right? December 15th, and then Christmas is on the 25th, as we all know. So, we had a birthday party. He got gifts. He had his real birthday, which was yesterday. He got gifts. And then on Christmas, he's getting even more gifts. So there's a lot going on in my house during the holidays. Spoiled. <laughs> Spoiled. Say that's a good... People. People. Uh, why is there a timer on the side of you guys? <laughs> because because they're just, they're just lighting up to tell you that they're actually recording. So right now, everything that you say can be held against you. Well, all right. Sorry. Thank you for our guest appearance, Ivan. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> all right. So I definitely lost my track of thought here. I remember you asked me, "What do I think about people who screenshot their DMs and post them?" Oh yeah, because because yeah. I'm just I'm just a little confused by that sometimes because I'm like, you know, this is a pr- a message that was sent in private intentionally, mm-hmm. and I mean, they can be. I understand that sometimes they can be mean. They can mm-hmm. be like, you know, ill intended. Mm-hmm. But but. Uh, the 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 whole idea of of a private message is that it's sent in private to the person and then you sort of like deal with it right but then when it's blown out to the world it's kind of like well all of a sudden it's like that's not what they wanted and then stuff can be taken the wrong way i don't, I don't know like I, i'm not advocating for any either or i'm just i just want to know what you think well i'm un- like under what circumstances like do we mean a dm that is sent privately between two people that know each other or a dm that sent for example like if somebody sent me a dm and it was really funny or really like crude or really some like you know something and i don't know them i mean obviously nobody's ever posting the stuff that's well i guess people are posting the stuff that is funny but i was like for me it was more like you know when the situation occurs like where there's like where's there some comment that's made or whether you know the person or not is like you know sometimes people just like share their like private dm fights with everybody mm-hmm. you know what i mean and it's like pe- i know people like drama so it's like i understand why people do it yeah but i'm like this like does it really make sense to like do that you know i don't know i think that well, I mean, if it's your social media, do whatever you want with your social media. But I think that certain things that get out there, like if there's somebody who decides to be bold and brave in my DMs, just speaking for myself personally, right. if somebody would like to be bold and brave in my DMs, I'm a, and you're going along like the terms of fighting, so I'll say it's something bad. Yeah. If somebody wants to be bold and brave in my DM and say something bad to me in private, then they should be able to handle it when I post it in public and I don't care about oh well my job oh, my job I is in, my job is in jeopardy can you please delete this can you do this no because you weren't you weren't thinking about all that stuff when you sent that to me privately you like what? you weren't thinking about my feelings and my life when you sent that to me so if I post it publicly and I'm ex- and I'm exposing you now these are your true colors so that deserves to be put out there. But that's just me personally. Well, and that's only in certain situations where it's something atrocious. No, I feel like it makes sense in, 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 that, in that logic. 
where you're if that's where what you're putting you mean. because no but but what you're saying makes a lot of sense because um when you think of whatever you send in in private dms and everything like i agree with you that to to a certain degree whatever you're saying you should be able to back it up exactly and, and feel comfortable with what you said like stand by your stand whether by in you private said. or in yep. public it should be yep. the same and say it doesn't really matter you whether you know the person chest. It doesn't really matter whether you know the person or not either because yep. because whether you, if, if you know somebody it doesn't necessarily give you the right to be more disrespectful or or to say things that you don't that you don't feel like you would vouch mm -hmm. for yeah if you will so yeah like i i feel it in that sense and then and then on the other side it's like if the person in question goes right back and puts it up on their social media to, for everybody for everybody to see if you if you said anything that you're, you're comfortable with and you actually meant what you said then you shouldn't feel any type of way exactly yeah you know like you said those things so you know that i guess you know you just have to live with it you right make your bed and lie in it <laughs> yeah yeah you do <laughs> it's just it's just one of those things so no i don't really feel bad for people or i don't think it's a problem if when i see people doing that i mean in some situations where it's just ridiculous i'm like okay you probably shouldn't have shared that but it's under cer certain circumstances but normally you know if somebody needs to be exposed or like somebody has got to see this like you know what kevin hart was talking about his grandfather and he was like look at this look at this someone come look at this look at this like that's mm -hmm. what he said his grandfather did right. i'm like sometimes somebody really has to come look at it because it's unbelievable the things that people say right so and you know in those cases yeah go ahead and share it but other ones and i'm like maybe handle that privately i get it it makes sense it, makes it just sense. depends yeah yeah so like, like there's another question that i guess you know we should we should touch on and, and a lot of people would be interested in because like but, obviously i've seen it on my social media your social media whenever we post things there's yeah. always both sides of the of the thing where it's like some people are actually happy to see us together and some people mm. are extremely mad mm. that we're together mm. because of the most superficial thing you could think of obviously mm. so it's like I, I you know i guess we have discussed it in the past a little bit but like you know for 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 people just to know like how how we feel about that mm -hmm whole thing of like you know because it comes from both sides i guess but it does but it's weird because i feel like people are always more mad at me yeah well because because <laughs> i'm trying to find a good way to say it but is it because i'm a woman no but no but I, that yes. i don't know but what i was gonna say is like there's not a lot i'm a white man so i get blamed for everything <laughs> But nobody ever points me and be mad at me but for a, doing something. Exactly. And I'm a black woman, so I, I'm i looked at as having to be able to fix everything. Really? Yeah. That's like a By thing. By who, though? Everybody. Like everybody. the world. Yeah. That's like I mean, I don't thing. look at what black women as like, you have a responsibility to do something more than everybody else. The world To me, really... it's like, you do your thing. <laughs> like, just, just be good like everybody should be good, and we're going to get along, and that's it. And then... If you love somebody, okay. you'll love somebody. No, no, no. But for example, okay, black women are really like sought out to be like the saviors of things, like the fixers of things, like glue of things, like keeping things together, holding things together, coming in and being like a strong black woman and like fixing everything, like getting people oh. in shape. Like that's like, you know, that's like, mm -hmm. uh, like a stigma, if you will. All right, so as it so, relates to so does it have black to, women? Do you, does it have to do with the fact that, like, the strong black woman is like the single motherhood type thing that kind of put that thing yeah in I, place? I, well, as as like the world views it, yeah, yeah, I think that's a thing. Yeah. So, for example, like, I'm not surprised that you don't receive negative comments as much as I do because it's it's my responsibility. Yeah, if anything up, I get to be uphold the black community. It's my responsibility solely to do that. And if, if a black man did that, oh no, like good for you. Like this is great. This is amazing. You know, like you're doing great. I, I feel like black men do get some like I'm gonna start doing shout outs from episode one, but like I you know, I've been listening to Abin preach a lot. Mm -hmm. And preach his wife is mm -hmm. is white. 
you know, mm-hmm. if he lives in Montreal like me. And he, he was talking in one of his episodes about going in the streets of New York and getting mean looks and stuff like that when he was walking with his wife. Really? Yeah, so it happens too, I guess. It's just a different type of vibe. I'm not saying it doesn't vibe. happen, but it happens more for, for black women. women. Yeah, than I, it does for black men. I black guess. men will like receive more praise for that than black women, which is like mm. yeah, it's kind of weird. I know I definitely get praised more than more than like bad comments yes. because everybody white. are like, oh my God, you're a white man with a black woman. So amazing. Yeah. Right. And to me, it's like, well, I'm, I'm a man with a woman yeah. that I happen to love Yeah. and who happens to be black. But I don't yeah. choose that. It just, yeah, it just, you know, happened. It just worked out. Yeah. So that was, that was always interesting to me in the beginning when like, I was like, oh my God, it was like, preach King. I was like, what, what do I do? Like, <laughs> no, like I get, I get stuff like that. Yeah. Like, you know, and it's like, okay, well, I don't know. I just, I just fell in love with somebody. And I guess yeah. it's just the right person for social media or whatever. <laughs> it's like, you know, people are happy about it. I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah. If it makes you happy, like, I'm I'm glad, I guess. Yeah. But, you know, for me, it's not it's not a marketing move. Like, what the hell? No. Like, you know? <laughs> no, absolutely not. Like, I hate when people think that, too. Because, mm. like, it's a whole thing. Like, oh, they're trying to make it like, oh, yeah, you're just in there for the clout. No. No, yeah. I'm actually genuinely feeling this person, like yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah, exactly. Quick disclaimer, just so you guys um, keep that in mind. When we're talking about any of those, like, let's call them race issues. Although I hate the word race, but well, let's call it social. We'll call right. it social. Yeah, yeah. Any any social issues we're talking about? Obviously, I'm from Montreal. She's from LA. So we have a little bit of cultural differences mm-hmm. there from the countries. Also, obviously, from the backgrounds and everything. But it's just interesting. And so if you're from if you're if you're from Europe or Africa, obviously, you know our Yours, views might differ. Yes. Uh, your culture is different than ours and everything. Absolutely. So we don't we and don't take it. And your experiences could be different. Like our own experiences are completely different. So anybody else's experience, even somebody from LA, just like me, could have a different experience. Exactly. So like you know through. Throughout the podcast, whoever I got as a guest, if we talk on social issues and stuff like that, you know, keep in mind that, you know, if you disagree, That's it's okay. totally fine. It's, you know, it's a conversation yeah, it's okay. and I'd love to see in the comments, whatever you got to say. And we, you know, it might enlighten us on some mm-hmm. stuff that's happening in your part of the world, like in your yeah. neck of the woods. So, yeah. you know, that's super cool. Okay. So Raph is French Canadian. He's from Montreal. So he came down to California and had his first Thanksgiving Oh, that's right. My family. Okay. Like a black Thanksgiving, you guys. He had <laughs> he had the ram, the ham, potatoes, tomatoes, log, mog, like the whole you name it. The whole thing. You have to put that clip in there. Yeah. Have yeah, you yeah. seen that? Look! I got beans, greens, potatoes, tomatoes, lamb, rams, hogs, dogs, chicken, turkeys, rabbits. You name it! Guys, I got the literal invitation to the cookout. Like, it is what it is. Like one better, you got the you got the invite to the oh the Thanksgiving the Thanksgiving so the dinner. Thanksgiving in the hierarchy is is one one like nod over the cookout. I'm gonna say the holiday dinners are uh, are a little bit over the cookout is like a summer you know type activity. Okay. Where like you know we get together like we, All right. we no, like I to s- have fun. Okay, I see. So when 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 a black person says you're invited to the cookout is like you're cool, you can come hang out with you're, us. Yeah, like when like, you're, you're at cool, Thanksgiving. You know? Now you're family. Yes. Like, you're really like my peoples. Yeah. So, you know. Awesome. Yeah. I got it. Yeah. <laughs> you know. He's like my, my peoples. My man's in them. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he had his first ever Thanksgiving. The Black Thanksgiving. It was a lot of fun. How did you feel about the everything? Like, just the entire experience? Because not only has Raph never really experienced Thanksgiving, first of all, he also never experienced Thanksgiving at a black family's house you know in my family well in the states like an american canadian thanksgiving especially in french canada we don't celebrate it like that you know it's more of a a holiday that we take like a day off yeah you know it's not like you know for us it's more like easter and these things because like you know that's more of our background thanksgiving i don't know not so much but back here it's a whole different story it's like Mm -hmm. it's your fourth of july 2.0 like type of thing yeah it's really big so and and for a black family it's like you guys are really celebrating. It was a, with it the was... cooking, not like you know, of with the, with the history and stuff, which I was able to inform Raph and you know, kind of teach him different things about the history of Thanksgiving in itself. And it does have, you know, obviously like there's parts of it that are a bad history. But for my family in particular, and I think a lot of other 
families in America give everyone the benefit of the doubt. You know, we just come together and we're grateful to be together and have that time to spend together. I mean, you know, you know most holidays for me are, are that now. Because anyway, like, you know, I've told you from, from the French-Canadian background, our, our connection with religion and all yeah. these types of things are not great either. Yeah. And so for f there's many different cultural reasons to not like a certain holiday and yeah. what it really means. Right. But then it doesn't, you know, it, it doesn't. It doesn't take away from the gathering part. Exactly. Like the togetherness, you know. Exactly. Special. So, like, that's that's the cool part where you're like, you know, let's just keep doing it. Yeah. So, you know, like that's, yeah. that was really enjoyable for me. That was a new experience and yeah. I definitely enjoyed that. And mm -hmm. I was really happy to be welcome in the family because that was the first time I was meeting everyone. Yeah. And um, yeah, that was, that was really, that was really enjoyable for me. Yeah. Then maybe you can come to the cookout. Well, I'll see if I can get you an invite. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I, I think I'll be fine after, after I got the top of the top going, going to anything that's under it in the chart should be fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for doing that first experience with me. Awesome. You guys, um, just let me know what you think, and uh, we'll, we're going to keep doing it for sure. We, uh, I really enjoy talking with people, having lots of guests, and talking about a bunch of different things. So we're going to start from here and keep going. And I hope to see you guys at every occasion yeah. that we release something. And uh, maybe we'll have you back. Yes, I'd love to. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank see you next you. time. Bye. Peace.